Hello, it's Saturday evening. It's freezing outside. I'm British Legion, and um, I'm going to show you a few things I've been up to and talk about some stuff. Um, first of all, uh, my mate Beck is in Australia. Um, he's been doing Victory at Sea, and uh, I thought I've had this for a couple of months, and I thought I'll, I'm going to do my Bismarck, and I challenged him to do because he's going to do one of his battleships, and. I challenged him on Discord to have a little bit of a paint off. So I'll finish that and I want to show you some tips on how I do the actual uh, sea base because it's really easy and I think it looks really effective. Oop, nearly knocked everything over. Um, another thing that's happened uh, I'm really pleased about because I thought I lost her in the post. Uh, she just got mislaid. Uh, she turned up all safe and well. The iconic um, Canoness uh, head of sort of uh, Sisters of Battle, the fine cast one where She's got her foot resting on the Mountain of Skulls, um, so I'm really looking forward to painting that. I would have done that today, but I got sidetracked by this thing over here, um, which I'll get onto now. Now, basically, I've been watching um, a YouTube channel called At Home with the Buckleys. Really, really good. Jay from um, In Between Us. He's now got married with two kids, and they're doing like a vlog on just how they're coping with life at the moment. Uh, the run up to Christmas and New Year's Eve. Oh, that's floating orb. Uh, run up to Christmas and the New Year. So I've been watching that, and then I've realised he's got a gaming channel as well called uh, Completed It, something like that. And uh, it just sort of made me think, oh, because he's well into retro gaming. So I dug out one of my old 360s, Xbox 360s, and I fired her up, and she's all good and all good to go, and it's all firing off around the back behind me. So. Um, I've been sitting here playing all my old games that I had, which is really, really good fun actually. So, um, which is bad for painting. But anyway, uh, enough of my waffle. Um, regarding my sister's battle, here comes a bike. Um, they're all glued together. I'll quickly do a quick flick of them in a minute. But I'm going to hit the deck now and I'll show you the sea base and some tips on uh, doing a really good job on the sea base in next to nothing. Right. Right. So there she is, all fitted and kitted. Um, I did do the stripes, but they were a real pain in the backside to do. Um, but they do. It's a gaming piece at the end of the day, not. But yeah, I'm really pleased how it came out. Uh, it is a nice model. It is lovely. Uh, these hard uh, resin ones. I've I've actually gone out and ordered the the HMS hood. Because I want something to go against it, at least something. And then I'll probably just collect slowly some capital ships as I go. Anyway, I said I'd tell you how to, I did this sea base. Um, you can see the tint of blues and greens in it. It's really easy to do. Right, first of all, um, let's come back a bit. You start off with... Uh, undercoating the whole thing in, I did it in a rattle can, a uh, primer grey outside, quickly, quickly, and then inside to let it dry. So because of the cold weather, uh, and then the base coat of the the sea was Vallejo dark Prussian blue. Once that's thoroughly dried, I did a. This might be a fairly difficult because you might not have this colour. I did. Um, Ice blue, but look, you can see the tone of the blue, so if you can match that up, it's just a very light blue. Uh, dry brushing all over the top, both sides. And one that's thoroughly dried, any I used um, green tone, a wash, but any dark green wash over the top. Once that's thoroughly dried, you do the wake lines around the ship, dry brushing again with Vallejo Ivory or just a standard white would be fine uh, one that's thoroughly dried uh, what I've done before I've used um, oh, where is it I've just used a gloss which does make it super glossy which is fine I think it's quite nice as well but this I think effect is a lot more subtle because I used um, satin varnish so it does give that undertone which i think comes out really well so uh yeah that's how i did it and i didn't move the turrets either i glue them 
they're, they're separate, but I don't know, I might glue them. What do you think? Glue them. But anyway, that's that. Um, my sister's a battle, they're all up there. Uh, yeah, there is a headless one with no arms, but that's the heavy weapons loadout girl, and I just want to uh, paint her tunic uh, suit first before I put the um, gun in front of her. So that's all coming on. And as I said before, slowly, slowly, this is what I've uh, I dug out underneath the uh, cupboard this morning. So I've got me, uh, me PlayStation, me PlayStation, me Xbox sitting here. There you go. Totally offline, so don't. Uh, I'm not online at all with this. I haven't got no account, hence I can use British Legion. But uh, now I'm purely going to use this offline, so I've got I've still got to upload that onto the onto the Xbox. But I've got Space Marine, Bayonetta, uh, I've got a few of the modern Call of Duties in that box that I played this morning. Bioshock, Alan Wake, uh, World at War I played this morning, uh, Fable Two, and Dante's Inferno, which I'm looking forward to. I'm going to play right through that again. Quite a, that's a, they're all really good games and within on the console I've got loads of indie games like Outrun, Gauntlet and loads of stuff that I've been tinkering with uh, this morning as well So, which is bad for my painting because uh, I might be playing a few games but I think I need to because as we all know we're in this other big lockdown which I think is going to go on for a little while so anyway that's, that's been enough wittering uh, again I'm super happy with that. Let's focus that again. It's all your fault, Beckers. And Battleship on the side. What's on the other side? Bismarck, 1940. I did it in the sea tone as well. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. See you later. Stay safe.